So this is my suicide rod, I call it. It's got 10 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon. Very light rod, tiny little 2500 freshwater reel. Well, it's a sustain, so it's not actually freshwater, it can do anything. So it's a little catch, 25 gram. I think it's tungsten, because it's quite tiny. One little hook, 15 pound fluoro, 10 pound braid. Um, in this kind of conditions, it'll get down there without a problem. Oh, now we've got some good shine, so. Oh, oh, we had an on-off there, man. We had an on-off on the little muck. Oh, now we're on. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be sport now. It's not a big fish, I can feel it. But he's going to take some light. Oh, he came off. I think that light hook, I just got to be careful not to have too much drag on here. Because they'll just bend it out. The fish are within four meters of the bottom. Yep, and we're on. So yeah, we don't have to catch buses like this. But we are going to have fun. We're on a 2500 reel. And a whoopy old uh, freshwater drop shot rod. Yeah, that's, that's good fun. It's only one hook, so we know it's in his mouth. That's the leader. Yeah. Snappy snap. Do you like that little silver dude? Yeah. I thought you might. So there he is. And there's the... There's the little jig in his mouth. Look at that. In the corner, he actually swallowed it down a bit. And there he is. Tiny little fish. But again, good fun. Gave me a pull. The tug is my drug. So there it is, silver on one side and a bit of a greeny black sort of bait fish type looking colour. It's got a single assist with a feather on it. That's how it comes from this shop. Hasn't had any personalization from me. Oh, okay. They're trying to break everything. What the hell was that about? We took it on the way down and the line started accelerating. Oh, guys. Um, <laughs> did you see that? Can you hear that? So on a big heavy rod that would feel like a 10-12 pounder. On this little rod, it's probably a 3 pounder. But hey, what good fun. Um, dude, dude, we only got so much line on this reel. Okay, let's... <laughs> oh, do you hear that reel screaming like a pig? We definitely hooked something a bit bigger, yeah? So I don't want to straighten the hook, I'm going to pull it out. Okay, that's not really, it's not really conducive. I might have to follow it a little bit, just to get some of this line. Stay vertical. It's nothing like going to a gunfight with a, with a pea shooter. Alright, I think we're back over it. I tell you, he took some line. This guy's just sounding now, straight to the bottom. His house. He knows where, where all the good uh, foul is to cut me off. Okay, dude. 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 Can we get a bit of line back here? What do I say? Small baits catch big fish, but big baits can't catch a small fish on mountains like that. Okay. <laughs> this guy's uh, just checking that I put enough line on here. Yeah? 
critical to have a super smooth jag when you're going to do this kind of action. All right, come now. What's going on here? Every time I win back a meter of line, he takes another two. This is, I don't know, I'm not even going to hazard a guess on the size of this fish. In fact, or even the make of it, because in this light gear, it could be, it could be a, a big kawai, it could be a rat kingy, it could be a nice snapper, it could be a trevally with an attitude. You never know. So we'll just play it gently so that we actually do get to see it. This is the old wind down pull up, but it's more like wind down and then hold on as it takes line again. We've got it off the bottom. We've got the fish wind 39 and it's hovering around 25. So you can actually see it on the sounder. And once you've got it off the bottom, you're pretty much safe. And what you need to remember when you've got a decent sized fish like this on, on dental floss is when it gets closer to the surface, just back up that drag. So if it takes a last run at the boat, it doesn't part. Oh, you nuts. Yeah, I can see it down there. Not that big. Must be fell off or something. What a fight. What an absolute fight it gave me. And that tiny little 25 gram little jig. I mean, how big is that thing, an inch? Oh no, it's actually not that small, this fish, guys. He's just throwing up uh, his dinner. You can see that, there he is. This is a good 50 odd. Maybe. What an awesome fight on the light gear, really. That is absolutely awesome fish on a tiny little micro jig. And boom, in the net, boys and girls. Look at that. Oh, shit, that's a snag. All right, what we're going to do is so I'm going to go to the front. We'll do this on, on the point of view camera. And let's just give it a measure, see where we're at. So, put him down nicely here. Yeah? yeah, look at that. There it goes. That's a 60 centimeter snapper caught on a micro jig. So if you don't believe in micro jigging, it's something I just thought of yesterday and I quickly spooled up. I thought I'd get, yeah, I'll take one of my old freshwater rigs, take the line off, re-spool it with some 10 pound, put a 15 pound leader on, tie on a micro jig, and just see, see what we can do. There we go. That's a 60 centimeter caught on this tiny little jig. Dudes, I'm so pleased with that, you can't believe it. But you know what I'll be even more pleased with? Is to see him going home. Thanks for the fight, Brad. That was awesome. Awesome. Let's do that again. 60 centimeter snapper, which is a 11, 12 pounder normally somewhere there. That one was quite fat. On a tiny little micro jig. Tiny little dude. On a little whippy fairy wand of a rod. Shimano Crucial drop shot. This is a freshwater rod. Line weight 6 to 12 pounds. So it's really a light rod. Lure weight 1 eighth of an ounce to half an ounce. We've got a 25 grammer out there which is almost an ounce. So it really isn't a, a beast of a rod. But as long as that fish is hooked nicely in the mouth, he'll go try to rub you off if you're patient. And I land it. So that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Wow. Well, that's made my day. And whatever happens after this is just bonus. As I say that, on the game. Micro jigging dudes. That sustain's got a lot of drag for 2500. Like I said, it's got about five kilos and I'll tell you what, you, there's no ways I would have been able to tighten that. It would have just shattered the line. 
So I'm not too worried about drag. I guess having a small reel, what you've got to worry about is line capacity. We'll be fishing vertically, and if need be, we do a bit a bit there, chase it down. Oh, chase it down with the boat. And if you did follow it a bit, I've probably got, although well, it's 10 pounds, I've probably got 120, 130 meters on here. There's no way they're going to take that. So you just got to hold on, enjoy the fight. Hey, Bertie, this is where the action is. Where are you going? I'm afraid I don't have much confidence in my ability. So yeah, I've put quite a long leader on. The leader's easy two and a half, maybe three times the length of my rod. And it just makes it easier once it's on your reel, your leader, for you to be able to handle things. This is not a bad fish, dudes. If you were trying to catch a feed of fish, and you threw your micro jig and you caught this guy, which is a 40, probably a 40, 38, 40, you would be over the moon. Look at that, he's long, he's got a big head. He's trying to be fat, but he needs to feed up before spawning season. There he goes. So let's do it again. I think we're down. Yeah, I think we're down. Yeah, just little twitches. There's my fish. Oh, I'm on. Did I mention that I'm on? Oh, look at this showing. You can see that fish that I released. If you look, he went, swam straight back to his school. You can see that line coming from the left to the right. He's gone back down. He's told his buddies, listen, dudes. You don't bite that little silver shiny thing. This is a little guy. Sorry to rush you up dude, but I see your family's down there. That's a keeper. 32. Over there. Cheers bro. Nice to see you. Oh, good dog. 